Here's your Alabama WX weather briefing for this Saturday. I had to think about that one Saturday, December the 16th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray uh, in for Scott, who's on an assignment this morning, and uh, he'll be doing the weather for you tomorrow uh, as I live and breathe. Uh, here's uh, what the radar should look like by the time you see this video starting around 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, showers uh, massing to the west of Alabama uh, ahead of a uh, trough that's moving through the Midwest. We see those into northern and central Mississippi, and um, they'll be advancing eastward as we go through the morning. They probably won't reach Alabama uh, until around 12, 1 o'clock. You see them breaking out there mainly over uh, southwestern Alabama, quickly filling in over west central Alabama. Um, heavier rain to the southeast, see that system getting uh, together in the Gulf of Mexico almost looks kind of tropical, doesn't it, even though it isn't. We'll talk about how that's happening. But scattered showers uh, will stay in our forecast through Saturday, Saturday night, and into Sunday. You see they're beginning to fall apart here um, around 7, 8 o'clock, a few in eastern Alabama still uh, there till about 9 and uh, then they should be on out of here. The heavy rain is to our east as the strong system forms over the Gulf, and that's sort of going to rob the moisture uh, from our system. So rainfall amounts for north of central Alabama are going to be uh, pretty paltry. Mm, southeast Alabama got the best chance. Uh, we're probably going to get uh, anywhere from, you know, five hundredths, ten, a tenth of an inch, maybe fifteen hundredths. Uh, is about all we're going to muster out of this system. Southeast Alabama gets a little bit more. This is the upper pattern across North America on this Saturday morning showing uh, that uh, long wave that long wave trough over the Midwest bit of a bit of a negative tilt there to it that's going to add to the energy of the system in the Gulf you see that short wave there over the Gulf of Mexico it's going to spin up that uh, low pressure system these two are going to combine as you see over the next uh, 36 hours and have become a very deep trough very negatively tilted uh, very uh, efficient at spinning up a big uh, low pressure system there off the South Carolina coast. This is the upper low, uh, somewhere near Columbia, uh, by uh, 6 p.m. Sunday night. It's um, moving up the coast and uh, getting some reinforcement from big upper low uh, there over the Ohio Valley, moving into the mid-Atlantic by Monday night into Tuesday. Ridging begins to build over the middle of the nation, including the deep south, uh, by late Tuesday night into Wednesday, and a uh, very Strong anticyclone forms there over eastern Canada uh, by early Thursday morning. See uh, that low pressure kind of coming back around. I haven't really checked that out over the Atlantic, whether it's the same system that just left or whether it's a different one. Um, maybe we'll turn over there and do that in just a second. But you see as we go through Friday, um, our bowl games are Saturday. Alabama, three different bowl games. Uh, next Saturday, the 23rd, the Birmingham Bowl bowls in uh uh, Mobile and Montgomery, of course, and uh, it'll be um, bowl, bowl mania, uh, Bama bowl mania, um, and then as we uh, go on out through the period ridging, uh, tenaciously holding on into Christmas Eve, um, we probably start to get wet by Christmas Day as this next system moves in in the southern stream. It's not really a very organized system, but a good soaking coming for Alabama for Christmas Day. We'll see that in just a minute. High pressure right behind that, but another strong system uh, spelling cooler temperatures, maybe a little bit of a shower or two on New Year's Eve, um, but that'll be uh, moving on out. Let's do go out back to the Atlantic here for a second, because I'd like to see that the evolution of that system uh, over the Atlantic Basin. So let's go back in time here. Um, there we see the system over the Gulf of Mexico getting organized, energized, Monday, Tuesday. That is a, a different, well, no, that's not true. That system is kind of rotating back around and um, you know, getting back in the picture, and then it's moving on out as a, as a strong storm uh, into the uh, North Atlantic. So that's not, um, I thought maybe that was a different system coming in from the east, but that's not really the case. This is the GFS, our model of choice this morning. Uh, showing those the rainfall to the west of Alabama, the concentrated area of precipitation over the central Gulf of Mexico that is that developing strong low pressure system. As you can see, it's uh, intensifying and moving to the east with the Florida Big Bend area passing north of Tampa. Uh, here late tonight, we see our showers upper low to our north. A few showers uh, still in the forecast. But you can see that system is driving most of the energy and the precipitation, the moisture, moving up into uh, eastern North Carolina uh, Sunday night. You see very heavy rain spreading ahead of it through Virginia, uh, up into Pennsylvania and New York. If it were colder and this were January, that would be a bomb of a system uh, moving up the East Coast. You see here by 
It's past Philadelphia by Thursday morning into southern New York. Some uh, wraparound snows working around the backside uh, for Monday the 18th into parts of uh, the Midwest and the Great Lakes. Uh, interesting look there across West Virginia. Uh, snow in the east, a little bit of rain in uh, the lower elevations there, but filling all in is snow for those guys. West Virginia could get some pretty decent snowfall amounts. Uh, out of the system by midweek. High pressure beginning to build in over the eastern United States, including Alabama. You see that there, large and in charge. That high pressure is going to be uh, protecting us uh, through Thursday, Friday, um, really centered uh, the uh, the two endpoints of the ridge there over, well, really one up there uh, in eastern Canada, one over Pennsylvania, one over uh, Columbus, Mississippi. Uh, but you can see the showers developing back to the west as we get into Friday. That system gets a little boost from the uh, Texas shortwave. Uh, it moves in, creates widespread um, overrunning rain, which I know that's a word Chuck Doswell says I should not use, but I'm going to use it here because it's uh, kind of a good explainer, and, and you probably know what that means. Uh, but um, rainfall moves back into Alabama late on Christmas Eve. It's going to be toward morning on Christmas Day. It becomes fairly widespread by mid to late morning. Um, that's about, you know, a good six to eight hour soaker there. A little bit of rain holds on into the overnight hours and into Tuesday. Second wave moving along the Gulf Coast. Put some more rain up into especially the southern half of Alabama there Tuesday night the 26th into Wednesday the 27th. And then we sort of dry out for the remainder of the year. The only thing really to watch for is going to be uh, a rapidly moving, quick developing uh, cold front uh, that could bring a shower or two to parts of north and central Alabama early on New Year's Eve. It'll be colder for your uh, celebrations for the holiday on uh, that evening. Um, and we'll be turning the page into 2024. Can you believe that? Let's go back and look at some uh, cloud cover here real quick. Um, this is this morning socked in pretty well with clouds. Um, that's going to be the case. A little bit of clearing works in here during the day on Sunday. It'll be a little colder tomorrow. We're going to be in the upper 50s today, middle to upper 50s uh, on the Sunday. As a matter of fact, I think really um, we could be a little colder on Sunday than, than what I think. But we'll watch that. Some clearing skies. Gusty winds move in by, Saturday, by Sunday night. We'll be down um, well into the um, 30s across much of the area by Monday morning. But you can see Monday looks fairly sunny. Um, it should be a decently mild day, high temperatures in the lower 50s, um, certainly colder. Uh, it's going to be a little breezy too, especially during the morning hours. Now, Tuesday looks to me like, um, well, I don't know. Maybe I've overdone that. I thought it would be kind of cloudy and dreary on Tuesday, but I think i got to go back and change that a little bit. It looks more like partly cloudy with increasing clouds during the afternoon. It's going to be cold, though. Uh, afternoon highs on Tuesday. Going to have a hard time getting out of the 40s. So we'll uh, keep an eye on that. The clouds last into Wednesday with just a few patches of sunshine uh, possibly moving in late afternoon. A little bit of clearing at night, but the clouds remain fairly thick as we uh, get into Thursday. I'm calling it partly cloudy. Uh, temperatures edge back up into the 50s on Wednesday. Uh, upper 50s by Thursday. Um, we're going to see some really chilly lows, though. 25 Tuesday morning. You have to remember that because, you know, that's going to be an upper, uh, it's going to be lower 20s for North Alabama, middle 20s for much of Central Alabama, and that's really very close to hard freeze. So uh, we'll have to watch that. Still in the 20s Wednesday morning, probably in the 20s Thursday morning as well. Um, and finally, things start to warm up as the southerly winds return on the backside of that ridge retreating to the east. Friday looks mostly sunny, uh, partly sunny possibly. Uh, start off around 35, we'll end up around 58, 59, maybe 60, 61 degrees. And then Saturdays, we get into all of our bowl games. Should be a nice day. Go out to Protective Stadium, uh, the Birmingham Bowl, uh, sponsored by Union 76. Uh, it's going to feature Troy, uh, State School, and Duke. So a nice lineup, uh, a nice matchup there at Protective Stadium on a Saturday the 23rd. And if you're in any other part of the state, Camellia Bowls in Mobile, Bowl, I mean in uh, Montgomery, and uh, there's Bowl Game in Mobile as well. Kind of interesting that we have three bowl games on the same day. This is off the GFS, uh, rainfall amounts uh, over uh, all the country here and a little closer to home over the southeast, uh, showing two-week rainfall amounts fairly uniform. 
Uh, parts of southeast Alabama may see three to four inches. Uh, South Alabama generally going to get, um, you know, two to three inches. Central part of the state, you know, somewhere there between one and two inches with a, probably a relative minima over northwest Alabama where rainfall amounts could be less than an inch. But, you know, your, your mileage may vary. This forecast could change, obviously. These are temperatures off the national blend of models. Uh, showing uh, 59 for our high today, a little cooler tomorrow, a little cooler on Monday, even colder, kind of a dreary day on uh, Tuesday. But I think I'm going to go back and edit that forecast for a little more sunshine. Temperature uh, moderation starts by Wednesday, continues into Thursday. And uh, you remember when this thing a week ago was showing, you know, 59 every day and 45 every night. Well, as you can see, things never kind of quite pan out that perfectly. Uh, but looks like we'll have another run of uh, temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s. Overnight lows gradually warming through the uh, 40s as we head into next weekend. Uh, weather brings the weekly netcast. It's all about weather. Two shows for you in this coming week. Um, we will uh, talk to uh, the uh, incredible, uh, the incredible Greg Carbon. Uh, he works at the Weather Prediction Center, but he's been doing his meteorological memories on weather brains for a long, long time, and he will debut the 2023 version on Monday night, 7 o'clock. Get it wherever you get your podcast or at weatherbrains.com. And also Thursday, we have a gangbuster special show. We will uh, be graced by the presence, the presence of the uh, legendary Tom Skilling, meteorologist WGN Chicago. He's been there 45 years years he will join us uh on thursday at 10 o'clock for the live version that'll get released to the public uh on the podcasting channels on the following monday but you'll uh, not want to miss either one of those shows uh weather we talked also about the uh, tornado that moved along lakeshore drive in birmingham uh, from homewood over to the mount brook area on this past week's show go back and listen to that it was a great show we were joined uh, also by uh, Sam Schamberger from, the, from uh, the Weather Service in Nashville. He talked about the um, Clarksville and the uh, Hendersonville Gallatin Madison tornado uh, that um, affected um, those areas on last Saturday. And of course, Brian, or, um, Kevin Laws was from the National Weather Service in Birmingham here to talk to us about our tornado that hopped, skipped, and jumped. Uh, along Lakeshore Drive last uh, early Sunday morning. So fortunately, none of that to have to worry about. And we also had two friends from Toro, which is uh, the Tornado Research Organization in the UK, and um, they were fascinating and had spectacular accents. So it's worth a listen just to hear those accents uh, of the guests. And um, that was Weather Brains, and that is going to be Weather Brains, and hopefully there will always be weather brains well that's your weather video for this saturday morning uh, the um, 16th of uh, december we're getting closer and closer to christmas nine shopping days just nine shopping days left until christmas it's all downhill from here but until i see you next sunday which i guess what is that christmas eve um uh, i'll always do as i always do and that's tell you to keep an eye to the sky because as you do you will have something fun to look at